Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some projects that Binance has invested in, but hasn't listed yet on their exchange. So I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into any crypto project. Now, out of all of these projects, I was familiar with Bunny. But, Dun uh, but Bunny is... Dunny. Uh, Bunny is doing uh, pretty badly at the moment, so we're, I'm not going to go through all of these projects. Just stop the video and do your own research into all of these projects, because if Binance is investing in them, then surely most of these coins are going to get added uh, and get listed on Binance, right? And with the listing on Binance, the price usually skyrockets. And... As you can see, the market caps for these projects aren't correct. So my friend sent me this, this screenshot and it doesn't have any, any you know, watermark or, what, or anything. So uh, the market caps aren't right. Keep that in mind. So Bunny's market cap at the moment is not $55.4 million. It's actually $4 million. So yeah, Bunny had a couple of hacks, I believe, and... Uh, the price isn't doing very well at the minute. It was something in the 300s, and now it's sitting at $8. I was thinking of sending my cake tokens into their bunny, uh, into their bunny liquidity pool, and just earning some bunny and cake at the same time, but I thought that it would be a bit risky. The project seems like it's dead at the minute, but it can always, you know, revive itself, and, and with enough hype, you know the project can skyrocket but four million dollars i guess it's worth putting a hundred dollars into it into it and just seeing you know what comes out of it i would probably do that and i'm gonna put some money into bunny at some point obviously because i think with a low cap gem like this you know it can it can shoot up and you can get uh, some nice gains but i did look into a couple of projects so and as you can see most of them aren't even uh older than a year you know only math and any so okay let's jump into coin market cap so most of these projects don't even have uh have less than 10 percent of their circulating supply of their total supply in circulation which means a lot of the coins are going to get dumped on you as you keep on buying and that will you know suppress the price down but with the growing market cap you know, it kind of balance itself out, you know, so just just keep all these things in mind. Look at the tokenomics, look, look at the team. Uh, so I did take a look at Open Ocean. Uh, it does have 8% uh, of total supply in the circulating supply, the total supply being 1 billion. So out of all the projects, I never saw a project that had more than 1 billion coins in it, in, in total supply. So Open Ocean, $60 million market cap. Um, open, o o open Ocean is the DeFi and CeFi full aggregator. Uh, open Ocean finds the best price, no additional fees, and lowest slippage for traders on aggregated, aggregated DeFi and CeFi by applying a deeply optimized intelligent routing algorithm. Besides the aggregation of swaps, Open Ocean will continue to aggregate derivative yield, lending, and insurance products, and launch its own combined margin products and intelligent wealth management service. OpenOcean also provides API and arbitrage tools for users to arbitrage transactions automatically. So that's it for, for OpenOcean. You can do your own research into it. CoinMarketCap is your best friend or CoinGecko. Some people don't trust CoinMarketCap because it's owned by Binance. I don't really see the problem with, I mean, I do see where the problem could be with that, but, uh, you know, I don't think that it, uh, you know, these low cap gems are going to get affected by, you know, by some, whatever, let's, let's, <laughs> let's just forget about that. Okay. Next up, we do have math. So this one has 57% of total supply in the circulation, which is great. $159 million of market cap, which means it's a bit more recognizable. Uh, what is math so math is a one-stop crypto platform that combines several applications including math wallet math v pool math dap math store math uh, 
MathPay and MathChain. It was founded in 2018. Math supports more than 63 public blockchains. It allows users to invest and build their portfolios with automated quant trading and an annual percentage rate up to 30% on their digital assets. Deposit crypto, get instant loans, and use crypto for payments regardless of time and location and at zero fees. So this zero fees really got me interested. So I'm going to do my own research into this math uh, crypto. The founder of math is eric Yu. so he uh you was the cto on jungtopia the largest mutual aid platform in china with over 10 million users he was also the cto and co-founder of zhengfang tech okay so do your own research into these projects they're really interesting some of them are uh like i said bunny is is the one that i would be careful investing right now but it is a, at a massive sale so if you were to put in a hundred dollars into bunny right now and you know just for the long term by the end of this bull market expecting some nice percentage gains nice x's then yeah bunny is probably the best one out of all of these because it is as you can see some of these projects are doing massively but I wouldn't pay attention to the percentages and to the market caps at the minute because I think this is an outdated screenshot. So I do apologize about that. It was just interesting but uh, interesting to me. So yeah, uh, guys, do your own research. Um, really, really excited about the market right now. It seems like Bitcoin is in some sort of consolidation. We may get a little you know, dip. If that does happen, have your, have your uh, stable coins ready. To get into your old coins because bitcoin will drag the old coins uh with it to the downside unless you're solana obviously but that's pretty much it i'm gonna catch you in the next one goodbye and good night